Yo, what's going on you guys? So I just wanted to talk about why I really like basic plastic from disc brands. And in this video, we're specifically gonna talk about Innova because I really like DX discs for my distance drivers. And I really only throw like Discraft and Innova. But I feel like I have to defend the DX plastic because I feel like it has a bad reputation for, you know, hit a tree and the disc changes, or, you know, it's way too understable and it does a barrel roll or it's only for beginners because on the pro tour you never really see people throw like a pro d force off the tee you never really see people throw a dx destroyer off the tee you never really see that you only see people throw basic plastic on mid-range and lower and honestly i might be wrong because i don't know the other brands as well as discraft and innova but anyways, let's get right into the few reasons why I really like these DX discs. Now, reason number one, imagine you're practicing for a tournament, right? You're gonna throw a couple shots off the tee pads. The course is probably hard or you wouldn't practice it. And you're gonna have a couple shanks here and there. And chances are, you're gonna lose a few discs before the tournament. If one of these discs happen to be your max distance disc, that sucks. Now, personally, that's happened to me a couple times over the last few months. And these DX discs, are really a good replacement for them. Because let's be honest, your max distance disc is probably an understable version of something you like to throw or just a very understable disc in general. And that's where these DX plastic discs come in for me at least. This disc right here flies very similar to my favorite Pro Wraith that I lost the other day. You can see me throwing in this video. But to be honest with you, it's a lot more stable than that. But it's not too stable where I feel like it's not gonna beat in and it's not a disc I wanna throw. It has nice grip to it. And if I throw it as hard as I can, it will hyzer flip, but it won't go left. Kind of like how my pro rate did, but I know if I keep throwing it, it's gonna end up like that. And by the way, I just got this yesterday, so that's probably why it's not ready to flip like that yet. Now, before we go further, I just wanted to quickly talk about the plastic itself. I feel like they've really changed the plastic over the last couple of years or maybe last two years. I don't know how recent this was, but this DX rate that I got the other day feels exactly the same as my pre-flight Pro Starfire. And it's kind of weird to say that because Pro and DX are definitely different plastics, but I swear this is like the old Pro plastic. They've really upped their game and these are super durable now. Like they ha they're very torque resistant and super durable in my opinion. Now, before I go any further, I feel like this video isn't for those people who really like to force over those crazy overstable discs. This isn't really for people who are out of that beginner stage and they're kind of like AM3, AM2 now because they're not really ready to throw a disc like this. This is not really for them. This is for people who, you know, can throw far already, like to throw hyzer flips, like to throw flat and have something flip over. This is for someone knows how to control it. Now, reason number two is these discs are usually really cheap. Like two DX Wraiths is usually the price of one Star Wraith or really close to that. Moving on to reason number three, they're actually really durable. Now this is a DX T-Bird. Now DX T-Bird is a disc I've always liked even when it was the bad DX plastic, but now the new DX T-Bird is super durable. I've had this for over a year I mean, you wouldn't even be able to tell if I've had it for over a year unless you've seen it in person. Like, I mean, it looks pretty much brand new. There's no dings on it. There's no like crazy marks that are affecting the flight of it. Underside is a bit dirty. That's how you can tell that I've had it for a while and I've thrown it a lot. But I throw this disc in the woods all the time. I've hit trees with it. You know, it doesn't beat up like you think it would. So some final notes. I feel like the DX plastic or basic plastic is awesome for those more advanced players when it's in max weight because this thing you can really control, you can get a good hyzer flip even if it's brand new, but it's not gonna flip over and you can even throw it in a headwind. And also listen, it has a pop. Since when did these basic plastic discs start having a pop? I mean, that's how you can tell that the plastic has really changed. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a good one, peace.